So I've seen a few guys on getting rich fast in Power World, but today guys I'll show you why in my opinion is by far the best way to get rich and earn that gold. It consists of a power which does indeed get that gold for you. Now before we go any further people to celebrate the amazing release of this game I'm giving a few lucky players a chance to win Power World. Whether you play on Steam or Xbox I'll buy this game for you on that Steam or I pay for 6 months of game pass for you. Now to win this for yourself or even a friend, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with notifications on. The more of my videos you watch and support, the more of a chance you have of winning. I will pick the winners and announce them in a couple of days, so good luck. Okay guys, so you want to earn that gold. Well follow this simple guide to do so. So all you need to do this guys is a base, a ranch and a certain power. The pal is called the Mao is that? The Maw is that? I'm not even sure. It's a little black cat which indeed drops gold for you. Now the thing about this pal is it's only available from one place that I have seen in the entire game. And they are dungeons. Now I have been in many, many dungeons across this map and haven't seen this little dude in almost 90% of them. But one dungeon I know it spawns within and it's this one you can see on screen now. Which is actually right close to the start of the game. Now these dudes average in this dungeon around a level 10. Uh, me as you can see on the screen now being super careful with a weak bow because obviously if I use my power here being like 30 levels above these it would just kill them straight away. So you have to take my time here. But what I was trying to do is I was actually trying to catch 10 of these in total. I already had 5 back at base. I wanted 5 more to see how much gold I could get. And upon me testing this with many of these up in my base I noticed that only like 4 or 5 would work at once within that ranch. But when they do take breaks the others get straight to work so it's still good to have more than four or five of these things so get 10. now when it does come to catching these things they are few and far between sometimes uh, within this dungeon but you can actually reset rooms where the enemies and the powers reset within them so if you enter a certain room uh, within this dungeon and you find one of these catch it then you want to run out of the room backtrack on yourself then come back to the room and you'll notice different enemies will have spawned and there's a chance it will be another one of these little black cats. There will be a chance it will be a different pal. But just keep doing this guys until you get as many of these as you want. Now then simply guys at base you need to build that ranch which I will add. It takes up a bit of room for sure. But yeah once you've got that ranch built simply apply these cats to your base pal slots. And watch them guys just simply make that gold for you. Now if you have pals that transport materials for you too, they will also pick up this gold and put it in the nearest container, so keep that in mind too. But yeah guys, if you need gold, unlimited amounts, you can take advantage of these. Now for me, each cat was dropping between 5 and 10 to 15 coins, and I mean, after a bit guys, there's so much built up there. There are two clips you're seeing on the screen now, are literally, I don't know, 5 or 10 minutes of me just standing around doing nothing in my base. So yes. So to get rich early in this game, use this simple tip and farm these cats via your ranch back at base. No selling, no farming any other pals, no wasting your spheres. Uh, do this. Earn money, spend it, be good. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps. Add if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.